When a person is diagnosed with CLL, they have a whole healthcare team. Who's typically on that team? Yeah, so it's definitely a multidisciplinary team, and uh, you know, usually there's a, an oncologist, hematologist who's who's leading the team as a as a physician. But there's very a very large team of other people who are involved. Whether it's an advanced practice uh, person such as a nurse practitioner or a physician's assistant, they're often very closely involved with with the day to day patient care. Uh, there's nurse navigators in some places that can help with getting access to these novel agents, with looking into clinical trial opportunities. Uh, there's pharmacy folks who are very helpful sometimes in checking in on side effects and advising on, on dosing and so forth. Uh, and you know that's sort of more on the provider side of things. But of course, the, the care team really includes the caregivers for the patient, whether it's family members or friends, uh, who are really a crucial part of this. You know, the the field is very complicated, and uh, you know it's been one of the challenges with COVID recently is that I've always invited family members and friends to come to visits with patients because I do think it's helpful to have many people kind of listening. And and you know that's been hard because we've we've had to restrict visitors usually to to either no visitors or one visitor uh, because of COVID precautions. So even if that's the case, you can still have people dial in by phone or use technologies like FaceTime to try to have them there with you because I do think having that extra set of ears uh, can be helpful as you hear all this information coming at you from your oncologist. Mm-hmm.